Leslie Zola from Zoll Medical, and this is the AED Plus, an AED that helps you all the time in every rescue. But don't most AEDs help all the time? Actually, most don't. At best, they only help about half the time. Does that mean that half the time when you push the shock button on another AED, it won't deliver a shock? No. Other AEDs can shock just fine, and shock so deployed. can the AED+. Plus. Press flashing shock button. Yet many people shock don't know delivered. this. Research shows that when an AED is attached to a victim of cardiac arrest, it will advise a shock only half the time. Once your AED says, no shock advised, only CPR can save the victim. At that point, you have to ask, will my AED support my CPR by guiding my rate and depth? If you're not using this AED, the AED Plus, it won't help much at all. Now, let me demonstrate the major benefit of the AED Plus. It provides the best support to someone who is rescuing a victim of sudden cardiac arrest. Most of what I will demonstrate is not available in any other AEDs. Here we have several graphical icons. When I turn on the AED Plus, it will provide an audio prompt and light the icon for each of these rescue steps. These are CPRD pads, which are quite different from the two electrode pads found on other AEDs. They are designed for fast, accurate electrode placement. The red crosshair is a placement landmark. Put it in the middle of the chest, directly between the victim's nipples. And the two electrode pads will fall into place naturally. Pull on this tab to uncover the gel on the pad and allow it to make solid contact with the victim's skin. Pull on this tab to attach the other electrode pad. Once the pads are attached, CPR can now be done by putting your hands on the red crosshair and doing chest compressions. Now I will act out a rescue and let you see what the AED Plus does during CPR. This represents a collapsed victim with pads already placed. It has a heart simulator built into it. The pads are already attached, but I will act out placing them. Notice how the AED Plus walks me through the rescue and how it supports my CPR with real CPR help. Unit OK, adult pads. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. Are you okay? Are you okay? You, call 911. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. Here, I would apply the pads. I will set the simulator to present a systole, an unshockable rhythm. Don't touch patient, analyzing. The AED Plus recognizes the presence of a heart rhythm and begins analyzing it. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. No shock advised. Start CPR. Half of all rescues with an AED start with no shock advised. Perform good CPR with chest compressions that are at least 2 inches deep at a rate of at least 100 per minute and the next analysis may tell you to deliver a shock. Start CPR. The AED Plus repeats the prompt to start CPR every 10 seconds. Because our AED has a technology called Real start CPR Help, the AED Plus sees that I've not yet begun chest compressions. When I start, it will see my compressions and will help me do good CPR in a way that no other AED can. Start CPR. Notice the bar gauge on the display as I start chest compressions. Push harder. I am not pushing hard enough. 
The beeps act as an adaptive metronome that monitors my compressions and tries to speed them up to at least 100 per minute. Good compression. The 2010 American Heart Association guidelines for CPR recommend a compression to ventilation ratio of 30 to 2 for trained lay rescuers. Untrained lay rescuers can provide hands-only CPR. If you do stop compressions, like I am now, to give two breaths, the metronome stops. When I start back up, the beeps begin again and are synchronized to my compressions and again speed me up to at least 100 compressions as recommended by the American Heart Association. The upper line represents two inches, while the lower line represents 2.4 inches. When you do good compressions, the bar should at least cross the upper line. Now if I stop CPR before the AED Plus tells me to, real CPR help continues watching for my compressions, and after 10 seconds with no compressions, it will prompt me again. Continue. CPR. So, when it's time to do CPR, the AED Plus can see my compressions. It can tell me to push harder when my compressions aren't deep enough. It can tell me when I'm doing good compressions. And I can see the effectiveness of each compression by watching the real-time feedback of the bar gauge. Real CPR help lets me know when my compressions fully comply with the 2010 guidelines. I no longer have to guess when I'm in compliance. This gives me peace of mind that I am doing the very best job for the victim. Now, let me point out a few more details of the AED+. The CPR D-pads are specially designed to last for five years. And here are the 10 lithium batteries that power this AED. They last five years in standby mode. That means that when you have installed the AED Plus, in the absence of a clinical event, there is nothing to buy or replace for the next five years. The AED Plus has the lowest total cost of ownership once it's installed. And because you have to replace pads and batteries only once in the first 10 years, you will significantly reduce the logistical headache of replacing pads and batteries when compared with other AEDs. As you can see, purchasing the AED Plus gives you real CPR help. It has the lowest total cost of ownership, and it helps in every rescue, not just half the time when a shock's advised. Your rescuers deserve all the help they can get in every rescue, and that's why they need the AED+. Let me review a few other features of the AED+. Notice that the door to the battery compartment has IP55 printed on it. The ingress protection rating of the AED+, is 5 for particles, which means that it's protected from dust, and five for water, which means that it can withstand spraying jets of water. Very few AEDs in the market today are this well protected against harm from dust and water. The AED Plus is powered by 10 123A lithium batteries. You can purchase these batteries at retail, for example, from any camera store. They are relatively inexpensive compared to proprietary battery packs that other manufacturers sell. Notice how easy it is to inspect the readiness of the AED. Check the expiration date of the pads by looking at the date printed on this tag that extends from the lid. You can conduct a self-test of all critical components by pushing the on-off button down and holding for 8 seconds. Unit OK. The AED Plus performs the same test automatically on a regular basis and presents a green check in this window if it passes or a red X and a beeping alarm if it fails. Now let's move from batteries to pads. 
Every CPR D-pad has a rescue accessory package attached. It contains items you may need in a rescue, including scissors to cut clothes, a razor to remove hair, a paper towel to wipe off the chest if the victim is wet or sweating, a pair of protective gloves, a barrier mask for optional mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing, and finally, a wet towelette for cleaning up. No other AED includes this sort of support, along with every set of pads. So this has been a quick demonstration of what makes the AED Plus better than other AEDs. It has the lowest total cost of ownership once it's installed because the pads and batteries don't need to be replaced for five years unless used in a rescue. And it has the highest ingress protection rating for particles in water of any AED from any major manufacturer. It's powered by 10 lithium batteries available at retail instead of an expensive proprietary battery pack available only from the AED manufacturer. But most importantly, when it's time to do CPR, only the AED Plus provides real CPR help. When I began this demonstration, I mentioned the major benefit of the AED Plus. It provides the best possible rescuer support when rescuing a victim of cardiac arrest. Let me review six elements of that best possible support. First element, the one-piece CPR D-pad can be applied quickly and easily. But notice that the pull tabs on the left and right expose the conductive gel on each pad only when it is in direct contact with the skin. There is very little chance of compromising the effectiveness of the pad by mishandling exposed sticky gel that can be dropped into the dirt get stuck to clothing, or get stuck to your hands at a crucial point in the rescue. The second element of best support. Every CPR D-pad has a rescue accessory package attached. The third element, the lid of the AED Plus can be used as a passive airway support system to maintain the victim's open airway. A resuscitated victim may not breathe freely without this sort of support. The fourth element. Most other AEDs do little more than provide audio prompts to guide the rescuer. Start CPR. The AED Plus also provides parallel text prompts and a graphical icon with flashing light for Start each CPR. audio prompt. Rescuers are guided by what they hear and by what they see. Fifth element, at the top of the display screen, it continually presents the total number of shocks delivered and the time elapsed since it was turned on. This is most important because when the ambulance arrives, the medics will want to know both of these things, which could significantly affect what they do next. Finally, the last and most important element of the best possible rescuer support provided by the AED Plus is, of course, real CPR help. No other AED can see your chest compressions and guide you to a rate of at least 100 per minute and a depth of at least 2 inches called for by the 2010 guidelines. Other AEDs may provide audio coaching when it's time to do CPR but because they cannot see your chest compressions, you will have to guess as to whether you are pushing down two inches. Consider this. Suppose the victim on the floor is someone you know and care about. Do you want the rescuers to know when their compressions are done right, or should they have to guess? Only with the AED Plus can you know how deep your compressions are. And knowledge is power. The best possible rescuer support provided only by the AED Plus means more power in the hands of rescuers. This is one final reason why you should choose Zoll's AED Plus.